Okay, so recently I realized that the worst era in pants in skateboarding was between 2003 and 2007. And also, unfortunately, that same worst era in pants and skateboarding was when I filmed the one and only video part that I've ever filmed, Lurkers 2, which came out in 2005. For example, um, these 501s are pre-distressed, too big, and uh, I own them. Uh, black 505s, APC jeans, uh, these were a popular pair of jeans. Black 501 size 32, yellow TNTs, my favorite shoe in the world. I still miss them. I miss them more than I miss this 360 foot Lily switch. Um, all right. I like these vertical bars where you can't really see what I'm doing on a skateboard, but you can tell in each of the bars that my pants are nonetheless terrible. Uh, Hamlet Lang jeans from 2003. Some Kenny Reed iPath shoes. Tim O'Connor Savier shoes, stretch bootcut jeans that I bought on the South Street Seaport with my friend Tino, and an A-Live shirt. That's a pretty, that's a doozy of an outfit. To my credit, I did work retail when I filmed most of this part, so give me a break. Um, Dorkin, disgusting gray 501s, disgusting diesel jeans. I thought it was okay to skate in diesel jeans because like Scott Johnson and Dill did it, but um, Boy, was I ever wrong. Look at that footage. Ugh. Keyhole. I only had one pair of diesel jeans. 501s, some eye pass, and a pinwheel hat. We're looking at 2003 footy. Um, my friend Carrie told me that it looked like in this clip that I worked for American Eagle. <laughs> uh, black 505s, yellow TNTs, probably an autumn shirt. My friend Joey missed the switch back side flip. But you guys know I land that, right? That's Alex Olson. He's probably wearing some brown cords. He was on some Bobby Perillo shit back then. Gray 501s, disgusting, disgusting diesel jeans. Um, they look boot cut, whatever they are. That's gross. I think these were Lee. People sleep on Lee jeans, but I didn't. This is towards the end of the filming. Um, Vans had stopped making the TNT and I was inconsolable, so I tried to keep the dream alive from Kenny Reed I Pass. As you can see, no joy taken from skateboarding. Uh, gross 501s, black 505s, and Kenny Reed I Pass. It's disgraceful that the best trick I've ever filmed, which is this, uh, was filmed in stretch gray denim. But hey, it was 2003. What do you want me to do? Um, this entire outfit probably cost me about $55. This is definitely the best Switch 360 flip I've ever done. And it's not saying much, but we're talking about a clip that essentially ends with a Switch Slappy Switch Backside 50-50. So $55 outfit is about the best we can do.